Love the turbo noises. Love the turbo noises. All right. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gran Turismo 2 here on Chaz Draycott Media. Last time we won this, and I'm in love with it. I went ragging it around Tahiti Road, eventually did a lap in less than a minute. I think it was a 59.3 or something. Battered the competition, got three grand. Now we're back over 100 grand, and we have this wonderful thing at our disposal. It's the second race car that we've won, or the third, actually, that we've had in this uh, sort of campaign as such. But we need to carry on moving forward and make more progress, like I discussed last time. So, my plan is to complete the next page of this, which is lineup three. We've done the top two. We've nearly finished the Pure Sports Car Cup, so we're going to go for that one first, and then we're going to set our sights on the Grand Touring Car Trophy. After this, you've got some very, very serious things. We've got the tuned NA Car Number One Cup. We've got the tuned Turbo Car Number One Cup, Super Touring Trophy. Gran Turismo All-Stars, which is like the sort of classic cars from the two games, then the GT300 and GT500 Championships, which are championships. You score points and you have to go from there. We need GT300 cars to do that. I think we'll probably get them in either of those series, but before we go through that, we need to get through this. I do also want to go back and do the regional championships as well, so I think maybe we sort of save the GT500 and 300 stuff for after that. Anyway... Pure Sports Car Cup, let's just get our eyes set on what we might be up against here because this is an important part of the process. Watching the races, learning what sort of opponents you're going to have. So there's two Motorsport Elises, an S2000 and a ZZS. Now those Motorsport Elises are fast. I actually learned off a friend of mine, Jack Galley, the other day that they are of a central driving position, the Motorsport Elise. It's basically an Exige, but even more big Cool little car, that, isn't it? So it's just got to be a sports car. Sounds simple. I think by pure sports car, it means something more like purpose built. So we'll have a look down our list and see what we've got. Um, a few inches later. Intriguing. Which of these is made to be like a sports car? I suppose the Integra kind of is. You're probably screaming at me watching this. We've got a big power bracket. We've got 591 horsepower to play with. So... We can mess about a bit. Our 2000 GT is pretty good, isn't it? This is basically a sports car. We're going to get in that, and then we're going to carry on through the list. We do have a ZZ3. I don't want to drive that. Sil 80, we never even touched that. But yeah, we're going to go with the 2000 GT. We're going to throw that at this championship and see what we can make of it, because at the end of the day, I don't want to go buy more and more cars for these sorts of things. And there's only one race left to do for it. You know, 591 horsepower limit, trial mounting, and... After what we won last time, I'm taking the sort of prize money as a bit of a hint with these things. You get 10 grand for winning this race. So I think, again, we might be on the way to something serious. Hopefully another race car. And this might be the point in the game where you do start to get the GT300 cars for that championship and then maybe a GT500 car. We'll have to wait and see. This thing revs that high while sounding like it revs really low that it goes off the edge of the dial. Anyway... I like this car a lot. If you remember rightly, we had a lot of fun racing this thing previously. These lot are fast though. They look very fast. However, this thing handles incredibly if we remember. It doesn't stop, but look at the handling. It's got long gears, that's something it's not really got going for it, but I think this was at the point of the game where we didn't really change, oh, gotta hit downshift there. This wasn't really the point of the game where we, uh, we were changing gearboxes on stuff. I want to know what power that S2000 is, because that's a fast boy, that. Because we're over 400 horsepower, aren't we? Oh my god! It just came out of nowhere. Yeah, look at that there. That handles incredibly. It's got a lot of understeer on the power, though. Oh god. Now we're back down to two laps per race here, by the look of it. Oh, good lord. Well, sugar. Get off the wall. Actually, didn't I spin this a lot at high speed ring? Whoa! I think I did. I think I had a lot of spins in this car at high speed ring. Now we've done enough. Oh! Yeah, we've done enough bad runs through uh, Trial Mountain to know that that's not good. 
If you remember rightly, we had a nightmare in the MX-5 here. I thought this was going to be easy. But this car is telling me that it's not. Someone's off. Someone's just got going again, and I've paid too much attention to the map there. You're all right, mate. Is that the S2000 that was leading the race? No, it's not. It's the NSX. Those mid-to-rear engine boys here. Good God, this car handles very strangely. It just loves to over-rotate. Well, we're not going to win this. That understeer there is horrifying. Do we have something better than this that we can use? Because I sincerely hope so. Well, this has been a bit poor, hasn't it? Oh, God, last place. Wow. Ugh. Time to go back to the drawing board, boys. Yes, give me the sympathy money. Okay, so let's go back through the list and see what we've got. We do have our RX-7s. We've got this one and the older one. Maybe we can throw some money at this, because I like this thing. That's so cool, isn't it? What's the, <laughs> what's the power limit again? <laughs> we could use the GT40. I suppose we could technically use the concept car, because that's a sports car as such. And I remember that thing being a bit of a pig to drive. I think we could come back to it and maybe revisit it with the RX-7, although mm, we're going to win a prize for this. Yeah, just in case the prize is good, we're going to play with the RX-7. And I know you're thinking, Chaz, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing this to yourself? But this is what's part of this journey. I want to play this game as thoroughly as possible. I'm loving this game. I think what we have to do right now is take the RX-7, do it up, and use a road car for this, rather than just turning up with an absolute blitz machine of a race car, which would be fun. I don't want to then win like a, a mental prize car, if it is, twice. Right then. Clearly power is one of the main priorities here, so let's just give this RX-7 a sh load of it. 45 grand to get that much power, no thank you. I'll go for 14 and a half though, to get 450 brake. Nice. Oh, intercooler is usually quite a cheap mod, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. That'll do. 480 brake horsepower. Let's put some decent tyres on it. And we'll do like the flywheel and all that sort of good stuff. Go for racing hards. We're really flying through the money here though. So hopefully whatever we get is worth a lot of money and we can potentially sell it. Whack that flywheel on. Might have a look at the clutch. Yeah, we'll put a twin plate clutch on it for three grand, but that is going to be it. That is going to be uh, it. So, armed with our new very, very fast RX-7, let's see what she's got. Oh, I didn't put a performance chip on it. I was just thinking then, oh, you can remap it, but no, I've not put that on yet. I bet it sounds good. Intriguing. Seems like a very blue field. Listen to the turbo. This thing sounds mad. Whoa, turbo. Fast. Feels very stable in the way it handles, which is to be expected because it's like one of the Mazda Speed cars or something, isn't it? There's another RX-7 there. Standard boy. Pathetic. Front wheels are sort of going through the bodywork, which is a bit odd as well. What does it have cutouts behind the rear wheels? Behind the front wheels? Is that what it's got? That's a weird body kit if it does. It does look like that, doesn't it? Wow, the cars are fast, aren't they, now where we're up to in this game? Look at that. Except most of my cars don't stop because I always neglect the brakes. Hang on, is that a Cerbera? It's a TVR Cerbera. I only, again, off Jack and some of my other mates, I learned about the difference between a Cerbera and a Chimera the other day. And it is that the Chimera is the convertible and the Cerbera is the coupe. We've just taken a lead of the race. Now this is a lot more stable, this car. I like it. These cars are important, these ones that are set up sort of as a, like a manufacturer or like a tuner company car. Not fish. Ah! Well, that was a big mistake. No, 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 no. Don't, don't let it spin. Just don't let it spin. Wow. Okay. Someone's just gone off. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, this thing is so good on the brakes. Well, the brakes aren't great, but it's just so stable, and that's what's important because in these older Gran Turismo games, the cars used to try and kill you on the brakes all the time, down the inside lovely. The weird body kit boy is doing the job. This is where the server is going to f*** past us. Yes, bye-bye. In the air. But then we're going to break later. Okay, we're looking good. Nice and tidy. It's a lot of money just to do one race, isn't it? It's sort of just dawning on me now how much we've just spent on this, but hopefully it's a car that it's worth a lot of money that we don't want that we win for this, but that was a fantastic drive. 
Love the little RX-7. Nice. Love the turbo noises. Love the turbo noises. All right. <laughs> All right. I said I liked them. So that's another win. More money. And another car. And it's big money too. Ten grand. Could do with doing that race a couple of times, really. But I don't want to keep winning all these prizes and then they're dead and then selling them on. So that's another championship complete, as you see. Another one on this page. We're going to go for the Grand Touring Car Trophy in just a minute and we'll see what sort of stuff we need for that. But first, is it another race car? That's the first question. No, but that is cool as hell. Please be a nice colour. Oh, yes. 125 grand as well. Wow. I didn't know that car was even around when this game came out. I thought it was like 2003, 2004 when that car came out. Is that one of the specials from TVR? I think it is in this game, isn't it? Now, you're going to hate me, but we're not going to use that. Because it doesn't sort of stand out in any... Oh, British car. It's a British car with a lot of power. Good thing I thought of that because I was about to sell it. <laughs> let's let's have a look at what other what other fast British cars do we have. We've got the Elan. <laughs> got the Elan, of course we have. We don't have any other fast British cars, do we? Okay, so we're going to keep that because after we've done the Grand Touring Cup, we're going to do the regionals. And I don't think we did the British Championship, did we? No, we didn't. We didn't do the UK Nationals, so we need that. Although, what's the uh, the power bracket? It can do the last race, but not the others. Brilliant. I'm sort of half-heartedly holding on to that. I think once we've used it, we'll get rid of it. Anyway, we need to go back to that screen, because Chaz is an idiot. And we're going to look at what cars we're up against in the Grand Touring Car Cup. Because it's not touring cars like you and I know them, like Super Tourers. I think you can race them later in this game, though. But look at the power brackets here. So 591 horsepower. Uh, let's look at the Red Rock Valley race because that's 394 horsepower. So that's the sort of starting point for us in terms of what we're going to get. We'll try and get a car sorted and then do maybe the first race in this episode. And then we'll have to try and finish the championship in the following episode. Okay, so Grand Tourers. Camaros, 3000 GTs, Skylines, Corvettes, Supras. Coupes, basically. Now, we have some of those. We won a Mines Skyline, didn't we? Pretty sure we won a Mines Skyline that we never touched. There it is. The Mines are at 32.5. Get your words out. See, that's over any of the power brackets that we've got, actually. So we can't use that at all. Oh, God. But you just need a Skyline or something. Like this. Wasn't this the 400R? Didn't we put it over 400 horsepower? Yeah, 420. But I'm pretty sure we can bring that down, can't we? because it had less than 394 when it was new. Let's take this and see whether we can do it, because you can detune these cars by going to this. If you do the machine test, just do whatever. Choose any of those tests, and then you can mess with the car before you go out. That's how you sort of change the setup on this. We, we figured that out, or at least I googled it, in a previous episode. Oh, God. Right, so turbo. Oh, right. We didn't do any of this up. Ah, exhaust. So, 399 horsepower. Oh no. I think it needs to be 394. Oh, flywheel. No, that doesn't change the power, Chaz. Stop being a <laughs> What else do we change? Yeah, we didn't get any of them because they're not blue. How do we take the chip off it? Because that's what's making the difference. I think. I'm pressing all the bu buttons. Oh no. I'm confused. <laughs> So maybe we don't use the Nismo 400R. We do have the 270R, don't we? Our Nismo 270R. And that is surely under 394. Yes, great. Okay, well, we're just going to go with this. We're just going to go with this. Get that first race done and see how it goes. Yeah, it's 394 horsepower limit as well. So, yeah, we wouldn't have been able to use the, uh, the 400R in that. That's a bit strange, though, because I'm pretty sure if you put the normal performance chip in, it makes it more powerful, but you can't take it off altogether. Did we put the performance chip in this? We did. So you can squeeze a little bit more power out of it. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay. Clearly I'm being an idiot. One eternity later. Alright, stop f***ing about Chaz, let's do it. Oh, I forgot how good this thing sounded actually. We're up against Supras and Skylines of all sorts, but we're right up there near the top of the power bracket. 
I'm not too shabby around this circuit either, so we should be all right. Not the best of starts, though. But then again, these things have a lot of power that we're up against, so this could be tough. You can hear him shifting down. We don't need to do any of that. Down the inside of everybody. Yes. Just skimming the nose of the Corvette. Oh, lovely. Oh, this is such a good car. I forgot how good it was. Look at that. Flying. I remember that corner being absolutely sh**. <laughs> now, this is three laps. So, it's another one of those championships with longer races in. And typically, I've tried to squeeze it in at the end of an episode where I've already exceeded the sort of time where I'd record. But we're still here. We're still having fun. Thank you to everyone that has been watching these so far, by the way. I'm really glad you've been enjoying them. I've had some fantastic comments about it. People really having fun watching them. If you have been watching since the very start, though, do let me know in the comments. It's great to know who's been following the journey. So pop that down below for us. Eventually, I think I will start doing um, a few episodes where things get voted for. But the only problem with that is, obviously, I want to try and... Oh, God. Is where I want to try and have them recorded and uploaded ahead of time because I'm very busy recently so I don't want to leave it down to the last second to get something recorded and then uploaded based on comments but still it would be good for a bit of engagement to do that let me know what you'd think of that actually if we did start making some decisions based on what you guys wanted me to do instead okay we're on to the final lap now and it's still going well it was a bit of a scruffy final sector admittedly but it was all right in terms of still being as quick as the AI really hugging that line there now I got this bit wrong last time because I was talking. Need to just be careful. Again, look. Ugh. It's difficult to carry speed through there. Brakes are so good on this thing, I just drove onto the infield. <laughs> Only a few corners to go. This is going very well for the 270R, the not 270R as we dubbed it, remember? I think this car fits in. It's not a Skyline or a Supra, but it's sort of similar Grand Tourer. That was a bit of a dull race, actually, to end the episode on, but still, a fantastic win for the 270R and some good dollar coming our way off the back of that that's what we want and this is good now because we've got this big collection of cars and we can use the older ones that we've already got rather than buying cars each time i know we threw a lot of money at the rx7 but it's for a bit of fun isn't it you know we've got the money to do that still got 70 odd grand in the bank so yeah i'm happy with that let's quickly check out the winnings and that'll be the end of this one 10 grand nice new car as well saving and i'll then jump over to show you what we've won now, previously, I was saying that we win 10 grand for a race and we get a really cool car. We just won 10 grand for that race there. I'm not sure if that's relative, but let's see. I love this bit. Just going down the list and trying to pick out what it is straight away. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that a GT300 car? Oh, it is. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, that's just got us a ticket into the GT300 championship, that's for sure. Oh, that's so cool. So, so cool. Fantastic. What a great way to end the episode. Well, we've got some absolute beauties in our garage right now. Absolutely loving it. More progress. Fantastic to see. And that's the first car out of that championship that we've won. I can't believe that. I thought we'd be winning stuff like this on the, the next sort of tier up, essentially. The next lineup, as they call it. Anyway, we've gone way over on time on recording on this one, so this will have to get cut down quite a bit. But thank you very much for watching. This is really, really good fun at this point. I'm going to keep recording, to be honest with you. I'm just going to do so many of these in one go right now. But, of course, pop in the comments below if you've been watching throughout the whole thing. I really appreciate it if you've been along for the ride up to now. And, of course, if you want to do any sort of voting in future on future episodes and future decisions. Basically, future voting. Anyway, I will see you in the future. See you soon.